Mama but you just like and we be going live. live. See? <laughs> we are live. Oh, oh we hey. are live. It's another night. Kid Smooth, a.k.a. the best bot, and Nicodemus, and then everybody else is everybody else. Feel better now, Nicodemus? Wow. See? I told y'all wow. I got way to shun your cast. Oh, that is very similar. Wow. 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 Hey, I'm somehow okay with that. I'm somehow okay with it. <laughs> of course you're okay with it. Of course. <laughs> Welcome to episode 26 of the Tix Writers Block podcast. We are happy to host you guys tonight, and we got one hell of a show for you today. And um, let me be nice. What's up, Fame ENT? What's going on, mother sucker? Even though you act like you don't like the rest of us in this in this uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on to the people that's watching, the people who are not watching live? Um, yeah, man, welcome guys to another night. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, make sure you guys check out our Gears of War 4 giveaway. And make sure you guys in check- the link. It's in the link finally. I'm, I doubt my channel's down there, but if my channel's down there, click on my channel. And I make you guys come over to my channel tomorrow because me and Nicodemus X will have episode three of the Xbox versus PlayStation podcast. You guys definitely come over and check us out. Uh, yeah, man. But uh, as always, got your news from uh, TickGN.com. Cool, cool. And, and, and before we get to the next person, is there a lot of feedback coming from my mic? No. Your, your no. mic sounds nice, bruh. Oh, so I sound sexy. No, nigga. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I think I'm cute. No. Oh, sexy. Can we All move right. on? <laughs> yes, we can move on. Uh, we have uh, this random guy that holds two controllers. <laughs> <laughs> but you can only see one. Why, yes. Ah, all right. Hey, guys. Then we got reviews here. I'm back uh, being a regular. And I'm... Uh, Finally, free of things. Uh, here to talk about games, games, and have games. And uh, to those listening, to those watching later on, I hope you uh, enjoy the show. And I'm um, gaming as usual. And by regular, he means he'll be on once a month. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> he, he always missing. And then we got my man, Undead, aka I can't wait for Call of Duty. <laughs> oh man, man, that's gonna get that. That's gonna get that is old as hell now. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? This is Undead. Another week of games and another week of just actually just general confusion because somehow Kid Smooth passed me on the achievement score leaderboard, the monthly leaderboard on Xbox. So really? I don't even know what's going on in the world. Yeah, so. thanks to Where the you guys at? Where you guys at with achievements? Um, well, me, I'm at a a nice um, you know, like I, I I'm 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 almost at 50k. Oh, you are. Sure. Step oh, okay. it up, cuz. Come on. Interesting. <laughs> um, I, 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 where you at? By, by tonight, I'll be at 58K. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, oh, like, okay. Where you at, Undead? Where you at, bro? Uh, 66K, I think. Step yeah. it up, man. Come okay. On. Okay. Interesting. Where you at, Demi? 94K. At? Come on. Okay. See, see, it looks like Demi is my only competition when I when the king comes back to Xbox One. Looks like he's man, my only competition at this say, point. Step up. I've gotten 16K in the past three months. Get on me, boy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I ain't and, got uh, no light. Who who he forgot to do? Oh, uh, me, me, the light skinned brother from another mother, Nicodemus. Yeah, PlayStation um, dude. Yeah, don't forget about me, man. I'm the only 100% PlayStation guy here. You know, um, I know Demi is 50 50, but I'm still 100. Demi out is here. 50/50. Hold on, can we can we focus in on freaking Nicodemus's is a background? What does it say on that uh kindergarten board? Behind you, huh? something my wife wrote. Um, I can read it to you. You guys probably can't see it, but she yeah. said he he's not nice to Xbox people. That includes kids move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She wow. she wanted to she wanted to uh, make you guys mad at me basically. So <laughs> I decided to keep it on there because I'm like they love me too much. They're not gonna get mad at me. So you can't sabotage this. Man, kids move kids move watches hate you, Nick. Let's just be honest. They hate you with a passion. Who hates me? Oh, kids move watches. Kids move subscribers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know about them um, getting <laughs> death threats in the comment every time every time I say something good about PlayStation on this channel. It's like, man. Wow, I've never experienced such hate in my life, but it's it's all good. It's, I still love you guys. I still love Kids Move subscribers, despite how much you hate me. Okay, just because yeah. I play PlayStation, I'm light skinned. But um, yeah, I'm here, 
and I'm light skinned and I'm ready to go. All right. So let's open this place up. <laughs> what, 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 do, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with uh, uh, Sonics or we're going to start with Nintendo? Both of them are lame as hell, so let's. You have this pretty cool article because when your article came out, as soon as Sonic was announced and everybody was like, Sonic! Sonic! <laughs> I'm like, when was Sonic like good? I mean, I mean, this is I mean, like in the last like I don't recall a good Sonic game, and then you came out with your article. I was like, thank yep. you. That I had her. to do it. Tell I us had to about do it. it. I had Tell to them. do it, dog. So Let's yeah, know, everybody's the article. Just, let them know those are the top worst games. And just, just let us know. Please. Okay, well, I actually have to look it up because I don't remember um, off the top of my dome. But, yeah, Sonic Mania was re- was announced and everything, and everybody's just losing their minds. Like, oh, Sonic is so wonderful. I can't believe another Sonic game. And I'm sitting here thinking just like you, kid. I'm like, Sonic? When the last time was there a good Sonic game? So, of course, I had to rebuttal this madness on TickGN.com. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to put out the top five worst Sonic games of all time to remind everybody why they should not be hyped for this new Sonic game. I'm sorry. And then Demi, Demi, what do you tell me, Demi? Uh, that there is some good Sonic games. Hold on, guys. Uh, yeah, Hold yeah, on, yeah, fam. Hold yeah, on, fam. fam, fam, Demi. He was trying to, um, you know, stop me from making this article. But basically, here are the top five right here. I got it right here. So the first one, number five, is Shadow the Hedgehog. That stupid game where they had the freaking character with the gun, the motorcycle. I don't know if you guys ever played it, but it was complete trash. Then they had Sonic in the Black Knight is number four. This is the Sonic game where he actually is in medieval times, like King Arthur and some bull crap, and he has a talking sword, and he's running around slashing enemies. It's like totally opposite what Sonic is about. Then we got Sonic Unleashed, where he's freaking... In the daytime, he's regular Sonic, and at nighttime, he's a werewolf. Yeah, a werewolf. Uh huh. Yeah, that's 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 your Sonic games, everybody. And then you got Sonic the Hedgehog 2006. This is supposed to be the next gen iteration of Sonic. This is number two on my list. This is where he had a romantic relationship with a human being, like some good old fashioned bestiality going on in this game. It was so awkward and weird. And then, last but not least, I put Sonic the Hedgehog uh, for episode one on this list um, because that was what this one is going to be side scrolling back to the old school way of doing things but Sonic he wasn't even fast in this game like <laughs> if you play this game dog if you play this game his acceleration was just slow as hell like it took him forever to get going and that was like the last Sonic game I ever gave a shot and this Sonic Mania I'm sorry I'm not hyped for it I know I'm like the guy that's never hyped <clears> for <throat> stuff it seems like Unless it's PlayStation, but yeah, look, dog, I'm sorry. <laughs> yep, yeah, right, right. I, I'm actually, sorry. Can, can I, I want, in all honesty, when that whole thing dropped, where they're like, "Oh, Sonic!" I was sitting there going, "Man, when was the last time anyone played a good Sonic game that was not on a Sega console?" Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations. I can oh, list them. I can fire. I can man. fire them up, bro. Right? They it is some good Sonic games. You guys let the hate shadow your eyes, but it is some good Sonic. There's games. some good Sonic games, maybe, bro. But it's like very few and in between all the trash ones. Like yeah, at, at, if you have like five trash Sonic yeah. games and one comes out, what what makes you want to try that? You know what I'm saying? What really makes you want to gamble on another Sonic game? So. And I'm a Sonic fan. I grew up with Sonic. Like, I was poor, dude. And we had, all we had was a Sega Genesis and Sonic the Hedgehog. And I swear, I played Sonic the Hedgehog for a whole year. Sonic the Hedgehog won. Like, I, I talk about replayability. People cry these days about how they don't have replayability in games. I played Sonic the Hedgehog when I was a kid for a year because we were poor. So I love Sonic. I mean, I'm a huge, I mean, I'm a huge Sonic fan. I prefer him over Mario, personally. But yeah. it, it is... Yeah, eh, eh, Mario games are the same repeat stale things. We can have a whole different discussion about that. That's a whole different podcast. But I'm saying it is some good ones. Like you have iterations where they're either bad or they're good. There's no in between. Sonic uh, Unleashed. Yeah. Sonic Unleashed was one of those games that was good, but it was ignored by a lot of people. Sonic Unleashed. The one on 360. The one with the werewolf dude. No, that's a. Uh, 
Is that Sonic Unleashed? Yeah, it is. You just said it was good. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was one. You really have no credibility now. <laughs> what you're saying? No, 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 no. It was one on 360. I don't think it was good. Sonic Unleashed, though, bro. There was the other one on 360. Okay, no, no, no. Hold up. There, you know that most Sonic games have been bad is when you can't keep them straight. And, like, Sonic games are hit and miss. Like, I haven't enjoyed one since the Sega Genesis, personally. But, like, with any game series, once you have a couple of bad ones, you really don't want to go back. I say Sonic is falling into the same place where Silent Hill has fallen. Yes, sir. I would 100%. I'd even say Resident Evil has fall, fallen into that, but that new game they got coming out may pull it out of that. <clears throat> it's just they don't know what to do with Sonic. They don't know how to recraft it, and everybody hangs on to the nostalgia of the old ones. So when the new ones come, they, it's either bad to some, good to others, or it's completely bad, or it's completely good, and some just don't admit it. Well, I feel like once you get to the point where you have just as many bad games as you have good, or your bad games start to outnumber your good games, then you're not really a franchise to be excited for. You know what I mean? I'm, the last, I'll be honest, the last Sonic game I played was Sonic Riders. That's the one with Kinect, and they're like... Shh. Oh, that's the one you was like, you forgot about Sonic Riders. Yeah, you forgot about Sonic Riders. <laughs> <laughs> I even never, never played it, so I couldn't judge it. <laughs> yeah, but... uh, Oh, man. I, I, just, I just like how people, like... It's crazy, you know what I mean? Uh, when the news of the Sonic was coming out, I'm like, why is everyone excited? Like, I don't understand why. They, and it's just a CG trailer. It's like, what are you excited? To me, it looks it looks like the um, introduction of the Sonic that came out in 2006 on the 360. Yeah. Like when they first showed yeah. it, oh my God, the next generation Sonic. Yeah. Like, what do you, I, I don't understand Sonic. I'm sorry. He. This is why they changed them up so much. It's because. Sonic's playstyle, the type of Sonic game, it, it just doesn't age well. He, he just, no. hasn't aged well. His mechanics, the game mechanics of a Sonic game does not work in today's generation. Mario does. <laughs> just to, uh, uh, for, for Demi, Mario does work. That's why Mario is have a little bit more like a, a lasting taste. That's why Mario can continue to sell. That's why Mario can continue to be highly praised. Yeah, you're always going to be chasing the princess and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, Mario does something that can go with time. I mean, if you want to technically go there, Nintendo has been on the lazy fact of just having you make Mario games and making maps instead of making actual Mario games for their systems. But, um, but you actually, see, I just I've, looked it up. I just looked it up to give you an idea how oversaturated the Sonic market is. According to what I'm reading here, if you don't count ports, if you don't count ports, there's almost over 40 Sonic games that have been released since its original. Um, that includes off-spin games and everything else. But 40 how many Sonic 40? games? 40, and 30 of them have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think That's you've been generous. I'm going to say about That's 35 of them were probably bad. Like, some of these games are just... They sound awful. Like, yeah, they, there's sorry. Sonic Drift, Sonic Drift 2, Tales Adventures, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> take your pick. Not old shit, man. No, that shit sound terrible. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's how people forget that these games actually came out. Like, you know what I mean? They yeah. forget they came out because they, they weren't buying them. I, mean, I feel like people fall into nostalgia and they'd be like, hey, this is the it factor. I'm jumping on a bandwagon. Right. Without but, looking at history. That's why we as a people can't get ahead because we never look at history. We always repeat the same mistakes yes. over and over again. <laughs> Which brings us to the next topic Nintendo! Yay, Nintendo! Nintendo. We like talking about Nintendo. Yeah, it's a Nintendo NX. Man. Um, wow. What is it? What is it? Is it, is it a console or is it a, a, a just a from, highly from what I read, it's a, it's a highly powered handheld. <laughs> that can hook it, up to your TV. And, and yeah. the controller comes apart and you can like swip it, flip it, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that you uh, it actually you're trying to output 1080p 60. Which is actually a crazy thing. I didn't think that they were trying to achieve a handheld running at 1080p 60. Or That's they're really cool. But, they're trying to get 1080p 60. Yeah. But no. this is I'm not mad at it, right? Here's the reason why I'm not mad at it because they have to kind of sell it as a portable <laughs> so it can have the success of their portables. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know true. what I mean? Yeah. And I if, if it if it if it hits like it's supposed to hit, 
Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. You know, uh, would you count it as a console? No, Probably it can not. transform. It can transform into it's a. It's kind of just a, That's a, the thing. A, a better variant of the PlayStation TV. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then the thing is now that they're using 32 gigabyte cartridges, right? And games nowadays are fucking. If you're playing Halo, 90 plus gigs. Mm-hmm. Um, are they going to have a digital store? Because some games they can't release on cartridges if it's going to exceed 32 gigs. From what I was reading on the article, it said that it might uh, it's going to say SD cards or micro SD cards following that suit of like the 3DS and stuff. So it just might have a digital store. So yeah, that, that's all. Let's keep in mind right now. It's just like rumor because like it has not been officially, you know, announced by Nintendo. So you guys know how I am. I got to hear that official word. So right now it's just like speculation. It's just a lot of speculation kinda. from uh, a lot of yeah. speculation. Yeah. But it, the thing is, the speculation looks more closely to the truth than I can think of. Yeah, you know it does I mean? look it's, true. I'm not gonna lie, like, it looks true. I would be I would be skeptical if they told me it was a console. <laughs> like that's what I would yeah. be skeptical of. No, this makes more sense. Controller. And so yeah. it looks like we're probably not gonna have uh, this is me just speculating. Probably not gonna have online gameplay, probably not gonna have a reward trophy system like I would love. Um ah, man, I don't um, know. Yeah, I don't know what Nintendo's doing. I mean they're they pretty much if they do this, they're kinda giving up on the console you know, race, and like you said, they're kind of just playing to their strengths, which is the handheld, which makes sense, but, you know, these Nintendo fans, they need to go ahead and um, stop putting Nintendo in the same, you know, talk with Sony and Microsoft at that point, you know what I'm saying, because it, they're, they're apparently, they don't want to be in those talks. From everything that they're telling us, they don't want to be in those talks, they don't want to capture, you know, the, the respect of the hardcore gamers, they don't want that, they don't want third party support, they want to do their own thing, and, you know, Nintendo, you know, respect, you want to do your own thing, do your own thing, but, you know, me personally, being a hardcore gamer that really be on these games like that, I can't, I can't get with Nintendo. I just can't. You know what? I mean, I'm a little. I, I, I honestly, it's after I gotta see in September they're supposed to reveal the thing, right? I, I, I know they might. Depending on, depending on, if they can just announce two things, they have a reward system and some sort of online compatibility. Mm-hmm. I might just, I might just because. I, 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 I'm in need of something uh, different, and it, 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 it does look cool, but I'm not. But the thing is, I'm not a mobile gamer. I, Me neither. I, I, that's the thing. That's I'm the not thing. whatsoever, whatsoever. Because when I'm out in real, the real world and stuff, I can't be like, you know, just in there playing a the game, you know. And I can't be like Demi, who's playing the game right now, either, you know, at work. You know, at I can't work. do that. Yeah. yeah, at work. So I can't do that right now. Where I do you mean, work, I Demi? Lo- where, where do you work at, so we can shout out your job? I do. I do security film. I ain't I'm okay. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> nah, but um, it's not my thing, so I can't get with Nintendo. Like, and then also like, how is Nintendo planning on catering to, you know, third-party developers? How is Nintendo? What is Nintendo planning as far as first-party besides Zelda, Mario, the normal things that they put out? Like, are they no, trying see, to do something different? You know, see, it that's what I want to see. It does not matter what Nintendo does for me. They are gone to me for one simple reason. It doesn't matter how good the console is, how they release their first-party games, and how they treated third-party developers. It's it, They're done to me. I, I'm not going to buy a console to wait six to eight months between games that are interesting to me. Like, and the amount of games, like, you want to make the Wii U and the Wii successful in North America, and you want people to buy it, then stop making so many of the games that people want like, they have a huge market on the Wii U and Wii for JRPGs, and, like, I think it's, like, a good over 60-70% of them will never see North American soil. So what's even the point? <clears throat> then the most you will see is either Xenoblade Chronicles or Tokyo Mirage Sessions, bro, and that's the, the least that the North America will be getting from the Wii U. Exactly, and honestly, to me, I hate mobile gaming. I hate phone apps. I I don't like. I haven't played a Game Boy since like the Game Boy SP. I I want to sit down on my couch with my friends and play my games. And Nintendo doesn't seem to be about that anymore. They always have to have this. There's always a gimmick with them. With the Wii, it was the Wii Motes. Um, with the Wii U, it was like the pad, but you could use the controller. But there's features on the pad you can get with the controller, and it's always gimmicky with Nintendo. And that's why I've been done with Nintendo since GameCube. 
right? All right. I mean, look, I, we're not hating on Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? Just um, we're just stating our opinions. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate Nintendo. It's just me personally being the gamer I am. I just I can't get with them. I'm just gonna stick with Microsoft and Sony. Is there's no there's no third competitor, and there probably won't ever be, I guess. So it is what it is. There's always the master race. Oh yeah, about them that old high priced <laughs> master race. Uh, I can't afford. Like I was telling somebody today, I got them peasant dollars, fam. I can't can't deal with all that. <laughs> can't deal with Dead. it. So um, any any fame we ain't ever heard from you. You got any uh, insight? Any uh, thoughts on the Nintendo supposedly NX reveal? I think my kids will like it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, they like it. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. There, there are some games on the. It, hold on, is it confirmed that this console is backwards compatible or no? This no, it's not. Nah, it's not. It's not, it's not I got no point because I was gonna buy a Wii only for certain games. I was like, you know, I might wait for the NX because you know Nintendo is just known for going backwards with their game, backwards compatibility with their game. So with if that, you know and Nintendo, then, case, then you know that it won't be backwards compatible because yeah. they always charge you on their uh, virtual stores. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, not backwards compatible, but the, the Wii U games will be able to play on this console is what I mean by that. Not necessarily oh, you get, even, That's not even confirmed. I don't even think it will. Because if it won't, then that defeats the purpose because I haven't bought a Wii U because I'm like, I can't justify myself buying that console. But I think with the NX... Well, to be fair, they always do, like, do backwards compatibility for the next upcoming console. I know the, Wii, I know the, in, the Wii U can play uh, Wii games and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's always been Wii can play GameCube games, too. So I'm, I, I was hoping the NX would do the same because it would justify me wanting to play the New Zelda and then wanting to play some of those Wii U games. But if I can't play those, if I can't buy those games on the NX, it defeats the purpose of me wanting that console. That's something I think my son would enjoy. Yeah, but the, I was gonna say the good the point that uh, Blood Dragon just raised is the NX is cartridge based, and all the old games are disc. So they'd have to either do digital download or yeah, like they they'd have to, have to figure that out. Yeah, I'm sure. sure. Well, there goes another sale, Nintendo, that you won't get. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how the lineup uh, looks, personally, I th- th- I think I might actually look into it. But it really depends on how the lineup. It does. For me, it would depend on the games. Like, I wouldn't use it for mobile, but I could see myself hooking up to the TV if it has some really, like, good games. It would have to. It have to have some good experiences. It has to have a Metroid, a Bayonetta, a Kirby, something, like, really. It has I could to see have Metroid. I could see Metroid. Like, I would do Metroid, like a new Metroid, but all the other stuff is going to be something new. Nah, I don't, let's I don't, be real. You're going to get a stupid you're gonna get Super Mario NX when the thing comes out. Two years later, you're gonna get Mario Kart. A year nah. after that, you're gonna get Smash Brothers nah, NX. <laughs> nah. I don't want Mario no more. I'm done with that stuff, bro. Are you really? Yeah, man. I, too much Mario. I was done man. with Mario once I was 12, man. I'm not interested in Mario. Like, what else can you do with Mario? Like, I mean, put a gun in his hand, I might. But other than that, I'm not gonna do with no damn Mario. I mean, what else you gonna do with him? So I'm just over all that, man. And um, so um, what else uh, that we have? I mean, we, the the index, like I said, is looking like it's gonna be another uh, Nintendo move. Um, so not surprised. Um, hopefully we find out more in September, and, and um, hopefully it's more impressive than it looks. Um, yo, yo, let's talk about this Xbox One, son. Wait, well, before we get to that, before we get to that, I okay, do want to okay. talk about, has any of you guys touched the We Happy Few? Not yet. I'm not grabbing it until tomorrow. I am $4 short. So. For, you, you, can play, you can play 45 minutes of it for free. Oh, what? Oh, hold on. Bye, guys. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... All right, I guess we could talk about... Yo, yo, real quick. I almost didn't make the podcast. He Did he really leave? This, this <laughs> here. He's probably downloading it. He's probably Canadians. Downloading. Wow. Um, nah, I almost didn't make the podcast tonight because the public service announcement for everybody who don't know, uh, The Killing Joke is out right now on uh, PS4 and Xbox One store. It's, right like, it's, it's also on After.TV, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Nah, I don't even know what that is, fam. I'm about to, I'm about to put you on game. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah hook me up. No damn movie. <laughs> hook yeah. me up, son. Hook Man, you, know, up. you know our best. Yeah, yeah. After the show, bro, I'm a holler. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. But yeah, the killing joke is out right now, man. So I saw that. Matter of fact, I let me to download it, bro. I was like, if I start, if I download and start watching this thing, I'm gonna have to text, <laughs> kiss, move, and fame, and, and look, look, I'm look, sick. <laughs> look in the chat, bro. That's the website. Okay. Okay. It looks like Arabian. I'll check it out. Nah, it looks like Arabian. Yeah, because it's a combination of the letters. It's legit. Bro. <laughs> That's what's up. I'll check it out. Yeah, but yeah, if you guys like you know Batman Killing Joke, know about that graphic novel, uh, definitely go check it out. Uh, it's got a bundle on PlayStation Store right now. You get five movies uh, for fifty bucks. So uh, I'm getting that. But let's go ahead. The Killing Joke. Five. Of- the Killing yeah. Joke. Um, is there? I know you guys are like very like. Uh, it seems a lot of people are like butt hurt when I bring this up. For some reason, I am intrigued by Ghostbusters, the game movie bundle. Um, <laughs> it's like fifty eight dollars. It's a top class. <laughs> Maybe it's just getting overlooked because it's Ghostbusters and people aren't. Fame, like, fame, fame. You need to be on camera movie. right now. You got to be on camera because I know you got to be making that face. <laughs> <laughs> this man said nah. he want Ghostbusters the video game. Yeah, I'm going to come back on cam soon. I just can't do it right now. I got too much shit happening. <laughs> I hear you. you. You know what? I actually don't doubt that Jerry would actually pick up this game. Like, come on now. What makes you want this game, bro? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's the, the movie. I don't, you like I don't the movie? Huh? You like the movie? I didn't see the movie. Okay, you just like the previews. I haven't seen it, so I can't judge it. But I don't know. It just it. looks like a, it's like it's probably it looks like it could be one of those games, a good game that you never played. I don't know. Even though the history of movie games, you know, nine out of ten are terrible. Uh, yeah, and, and Ghostbusters I mean, this, has a really good not, history not, of having good video it's, games. It's not based on the movie movie. It's based on the like the old characters, the guys, and stuff like that. Oh, this Ghostbusters game not based on the on the women? No. It's like Bill Murray and them. Yeah, I don't think any of them did the voice act. Voice acting, maybe they did. I don't know, but dude, it's the mm-hmm. guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I might be a little intrigued now myself. <laughs> 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 I thought it was based on like the movie. I was like total trash, immediate pass. Yeah, they just, they just I was gonna up, say, up, 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 it, it's game. hey, hey guys, it's got a 31 on Metacritic, so that's a good sign. <laughs> it's got a 31 on Metacritic. I, I, I look, look. I'm not the type of guy that be like living or dying by reviews, but damn, 31. You gotta pay attention to that. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't probably know. a no. I mean, That's a probably a hell no. Yeah, and it's it's like a the Steam reviews aren't so great either, but I honestly oh, think people man. are just taking taking it taking their hatred on the movie out on the game. I don't think half the people that reviewed this game actually played. 1.5 stars. Wow. User it, rating, 1.5 stars? It, 1.5 stars, and the top reviews on it said that Slime's doing all the wrong ways. Overall user score, 0.7. Damn. Uh, wait wait until this thing, wait until this thing goes Jerry, on sale, bro. You know, real talk, if you wanted to um, give it a try... Wait like a month. It'll be like twenty bucks. Like I was in my GameStop and uh, Homefront: The Revolutions, twenty one dollars right now. Wait, if this so, if like, Homefront is twenty one dollars in your in your country, that means it's like maybe five bucks over here. Five bucks here. <laughs> <laughs> like that's because like aren't games like seventy bucks or like or eighty bucks or? Like, nah, we we had a flash sale this week. Halo Five was twenty bucks. Gears of War Ultimate Edition was five bucks. It was it was good. It's a good week to be alive. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> oh, time out. Time out, real quick. Time out. Um, two things. Two things. Um, everybody watching, listening right now, please hit that like button because like lives definitely do matter on YouTube. We really do appreciate that. And then also a question for Demi. What are you playing, sir? No, <laughs> what, what are you playing this week? What, what are you? No, 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 my brother. What are you playing this week? I can hear the sticks. Just. What are you playing? Bro? Oh man, I'm playing this trash Tron game. Oh, you playing that Tron game? You're achievement, huh? Uh, like, oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. I used, yeah. I used to do that. I used to do that. I ain't gonna lie. I used to do that back in the day. I mean, I'm just knocking games out the backlog, bro. I'm like, this game is easy and trash. Trying to hit that 100k. Trying to hit that 100k before the king come back, bro. Nah, I'm in a 100k race with somebody else right now, so I'm trying to beat him. Uh, okay. I I will get I mean, there. I, I feel like you know you know I feel like I'm I. 
I'm still in the high percentiles. Not everybody has 100K. It's good to have, but I'm I'm happy with my you know my uh my nearing 50k mark. I'm happy. At some Come of on, bro. You gotta you gotta be up here with me, man. You gotta be up here. You sh- Jerry, I'm not gonna lie. Kids move. Um, I'm not gonna lie, man. You you should be you know higher than that, man. Like I think I, I, start, I honestly uh, think I mine is at to t- 50 or 60. Putting like uh, cause here's the thing. I was like achievements. Even though I like getting rewarded for playing the games and stuff like that, I I wasn't paying attention to them of what it meant. I just knew it was like, oh cool, I got this achievement. You know what I mean? Or I beat because I was playing games just to beat the games. I was never collecting thousand gamer score up until honestly up until like really the last couple years of the Xbox 360. I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna try to get some of these achievements. And then when the Xbox One came out, I was like, alright, I'm gonna try to get some of these achievements. But I never made it uh, like a thing that I'm on a mission to like get all these achievements um because at, at some point when it came to these games i think the last years of like i want to say from 2011 to 2013 i i was my xbox 360 was i was ca- i was casual on it like hell casual was all hell on it It wasn't like i wasn't buying games every week i, w- I was only buying honestly my m- like gears of war or this game at that point in time because i wasn't really uh, let me, I, let me I think tell, I'm, let me tell let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you and Fame something right quick, okay? Let me tell y'all something. If I come over to Xbox One, I get my Xbox One, I come over there and I start wrecking shit. If I start coming over there and I take over, you guys are never going to hear the end of it. Let me just tell you that. If I come over there and I'm a beast in Gears of War and I'm just totally killing you guys on Gears of War on your home console. I'm telling you, you're never gonna hear the end of it. Just gonna say that, okay? So man, I just, I just, I, no, no. As soon as you buy that console, you're gonna go pick up Halo Five. I want to see a video of you versus Jerry, because I know for a fact I've seen Jerry wreck kids in Halo. So Halo? I didn't say nothing about Halo. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm not vouching for Halo, nah, fam. <laughs> I mean, I'll play it. I'm definitely gonna play it with you guys. Whatever. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say, you know, this dude's gonna be high, doing wall-to-wall cover with the Nasher through the whole Gears of War game, right? Yeah, that's how you play Gears of War. That's how you play <laughs> wall bounce, wall bounce, and Nasher. That's how you play it. Son. See, the thing is, I, I'm not worried. I'm not afraid of a nigga Demon's Gears. I, I'm really good at Gears of Gears of War. There was only one Gears of War I wasn't too good at, and that was the first one. And that's why I don't do so hot in like the Ultimate Edition. But Gears two, three, and now Gears four. Oh, I'm back. I Most am back. Orioles and Red Bull. Cheeks, man. I am back. He's Cheeks? Demi, you play with him? Uh, no, I'll just say Ultimate Edition, some certified Cheeks. Uh, the, it, they didn't transition uh, the controls too well. Oh. Uh, and, um, but let's, uh, let's uh, uh, try to get back on these uh, topics. It, it will be a big day when Nicodemus unboxed that Xbox One. Oh, I can't wait to see how that goes. <laughs> I might take a flight to, uh, to Texas and be present <laughs> in that video. I ain't lying. You know what? Yeah. Like, I can see it now. I can see it now. I'm shooting the video, and all of a sudden, Kiss Move comes out the back. What you got there, bruh? <laughs> you know what, Nick? I'm going to come to your what house. You got there, when, you unlock, when you get that Xbox, I'm going to be at your yeah. house, fam. Oh, hey, hey, I'll let you know when I got it, and yeah, I'm doing a live unboxing of this thing. Yeah. It, it's gonna be weird because it's me, so I'm, it's gonna be weird. It ain't gonna be a normal unboxing, but yeah, it's gonna be weird. It hey, you gotta have a normal thing. Uh, if I can somehow get a PNG like gif of me, you gotta put me in there as a ghost. Be like an video. apparition. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> open it, open it, man, open it now. Like Yoda. Man, trying to look like Yoda after he died, bro. Just in the background and shit while you unboxing it, bro. Oh, uh, <laughs> speaking of speaking of Nick, me and Nick, like you guys, we will report. We will be reporting live from QuakeCon this year. So make sure you guys check us out. We'll be doing some stuff on the channel uh, while we at QuakeCon, man. So fame, you better tell him. That. You better tell him, fame. Cause man, the info we get today, man, it's gonna be live. Yes, you guys. Best uh, subscribe to Nicodemus and Fame ENT because if you want that Quake Kong news, they're gonna have it. They're gonna have you guys gonna have some footage. Are you gonna have some footage like fresh from the show, like how I did with Pax the uh, last year? Dude, we're gonna do some stuff live. We're gonna record some stuff, man. We're gonna be all over the place. We're gonna be recording at the parties, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, gonna we're gonna be, be doing all that, bro. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be we're gonna get some footage on the on the channels and all that good stuff, and we're gonna write some articles because you know we we're a writer first. Oh yeah, I I was about to tell you we have a special request 
for Kiss Move to move the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Barry in a building. What up, what up, Barry? Uh, uh, especially, actually, before you continue, Jay Barry, uh, we owe you a, a day on this show. Uh, so hit one of us up. Let us know if you can make it one of these weeks. Get uh, get uh, 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 Jay Barry. AKA the council head premiere, and also check out Javari's um, website if you want that PlayStation news. You can go to what's up PlayStation dot com. Uh, why you got it? Why you got to do a parenthesis? You can, you can, you can go there and get some. Why you got to do parentheses? Some, some like it's not real news. Prop- like what, what's up? <laughs> you can get some PlayStation propaganda. You know what I mean? If you see anything Xbox related on that website, avoid. Don't it. read it. Yeah. Don't read it. Wow. <laughs> wow. No, y'all can't say that. No, that yeah, website you know is we can. legit. No, no, you Xbox guys. No, no, bro. no you want to get website? You want to get website? TickGN.com. Well, you already, <laughs> you already know, you already know what's up with that. If you want all These the, the words news. of fame, ENT and and Kids Move, I don't, I'm not a part of this, and you can not playing my game. <laughs> nah, the boy know we mess with. <laughs> nah, I'm, shout out. I'm chilling, dog. That's Shout out to what's up PlayStation.com. <laughs> I, I just gotta say, Demi has to be the most middle ground guy I know. Look, you know what? And I the fact that this dude—I I don't think this guy has ever been in a podcast with him in like the like almost eight months now that I've known him, where I don't hear clicking sticks in the background. Yeah, that dude, dude don't stop. Demi's <laughs> default picture is like an illusion. So when PlayStation guys are watching the podcast, Demi's in his PlayStation controller moves. This way. <laughs> <laughs> the, Xbox, the, Xbox, guys, the Xbox controller is like, mm. so yeah, it's right? just an illusion. <laughs> Yo, I said there's no such thing as neutral gamers, but I think Demi is about the only neutral gamer that I really do know. I I, I gotta say that. <laughs> I'm gonna Kids move neutral. Really good video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. What, did somebody just just spit a blatant lie just now and say? I'm, I'm as neutral as they come. Uh, oh no. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. No, my brother. Check my I'm biased, and I know you here's ain't the, neutral. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. See, I'm biased to. Here, here's the thing. I. You know how? Every, I. I don't mean to get it like all like like you know bad, but I, it's like comparison, all right? For example, you know how when you think Donald Trump, everybody assumes he's like. Races and all this other stupid shit, right? Oh mm-hmm. boy! All right, so now you get kids from here come to dislike, right? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm a, when when they, when it comes to gaming, people just say I'm just biased. I hate PlayStation, but there's actual factual evidence. If you look through all of my PlayStation related videos, even my reviews, I show no bias. The boy, worst you are PlayStation biased, score, biased the worst PlayStation person on K- on had. YouTube. <laughs> The worst PlayStation score, the worst score a, a PlayStation game got out of me was maybe a 4.6, and that was Godzilla. Um, so and, Yo, and, and that you was just compare game. yourself to Donald Trump, bro. No, I'm just talking about. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Like, what, what is going on as here? As far as the perception goes, it's like he was like, make, make, America <laughs> <laughs> make America bots again. Make America bots again. They all moved to PlayStation. Make them bots again. <laughs> I can see the Photoshop coming later. Just Jerry's head on. Uh, and and yeah, if you yeah. actually look at my most popular uh, vids, they're not really Xbox centric. Uh, some they're of them hate, are actually PlayStation centric. No, no. Hate, like if you, they're hate for PlayStation centric. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I, the, I don't have I don't have many anti PlayStation videos. I don't they're even know the like ones, to call them anti. They're the ones videos. you make. They're the ones you make to get on people's nerves purposely. Uh, like um, man. Like Street Fighter Five on Xbox. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's go down the list. Um, <laughs> oh gee, there's only fifty percent PlayStation Plus subscribers, and there's this many sales. No, there's only twenty million people that bought PlayStation Plus subscribers, but there's forty million sales. Hmm. I wonder if Sony's lying. You know, stuff like hey. that. Um, I didn't say anything in that video, so that's why I can deny that. I said nothing in the video. I said nothing. <laughs> so, anyway, let's speaking of sales, since everybody loved to hear sales, you know what I mean? Xbox had a, 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 a decrease in your sales, uh, which I totally blame on the announcement of Project Scorpio and Xbox One S. A lot of people screaming panic, panic, panic. Uh, people are, are losing a top. People are running around celebrating for what? 
Oh, because that's all going to change in about two weeks. <laughs> but um, yeah, the sales guys... shoot to the roof when it, when the ads drop. What does everybody think of this? Make of this? Uh, the uh, the decrease in sales. I think it's down what thirty three percent of their hardware. Um, and well, think about it. Think about it. Why would somebody buy the OG Xbox One when the One S is about to drop in a few weeks, and you got Scorpio next year? Like, why would you buy an OG Xbox One right now if you got it for dirt cheap? Of course they're going to draw. Of course, gonna, anybody, anyone who can put their bias aside and think logically for a second will realize why would that console sell right now? The new, like the new hotness is about to drop in a few weeks. That would yeah, make sense. Would make sense if if the sales for the S are like they basically make up for it. That would make sense if that happens. If it doesn't, it's just. I was gonna say all the guys that are at my GameStop, like there's a, one of my friends went to buy an Xbox One. They just told him to wait a couple of weeks. <laughs> and uh, just hold out and uh, just pre-order the S or wait for Scorpio pre-orders. I saw an Xbox One <clears throat> in a pawn shop for 175 bucks, And I was like, does that come with a warranty, man? And he's like, nah, it don't. It's as is. And I was debating, should I get this thing for 175 No, I hurt you. You know, you can, get nah. a, you can get a... You can get the... A 500 gigabyte Xbox One with like the the, the free game model for like 250 right now. Because they're phasing right out. Now. Yeah, they're phasing out the OG model, not the one terabyte model, but the OG 500 gig model. That's getting phased out, and then all that's going to be left are like the one terabyte ones that we have now, and then the Xbox uh, Xbox One S. So I made a decision um, as far as PC or Xbox One. You guys know I was leaning more towards Xbox One anyway, but uh, I made a decision that I'm not going to get a PC for you know, the price of 300 something bucks because it would be like you know pretty low end. And if I want to get into PC gaming, I'll kind of want to take advantage, at least be mid to high. So you know I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep my peasant tree status. Sorry, Kev. Um, Kevin hit me up too, dog. Like on Twitter, telling me about these indies, these free indies I can get on PC. You know he's been he he's been keeping me informed. So shout out to Kev the gamer, man. I appreciate you, man. But uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and um, choose the Xbox One. Um, and I'm so happy too that you gonna get Xbox One an OG. No, my, no, my, no, my dude, my dude. I'm getting the uh, S because because they announced that the uh, 500 gigabyte S is coming um, August 23rd. So and it's gonna be 2.99, I believe. So I, I'm definitely gonna get that because at first I thought it was coming out. It has mentioned it was coming out like in December or something like that. Yeah, it's just a um, timestamp, bro. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I thought. I thought it was gonna come out in December. So I was like, now nah, I'm just gonna get the OG now because I'm not I'm not getting no one two terabyte one. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it and be ready for uh record in Gears of War four. So can't wait for that, record, man. Yeah, it's gonna be beast. Yeah. All right. Uh, I can't I can't wait for that um that either. Five hundred. And gigs, this move's gonna buy me a game too. I haven't decided which one I want yet. I think I'm gonna get a collector's edition of something. I don't know what I want yet though. Like a hundred twenty dollar collector's edition of something. I'm trying to see. No, that, that limit is um sixty dollars and under. We didn't mention the limit, sir. There was no limit mentioned. You just said a game. You get the collector's edition of Lego Star Wars, bro. <laughs> oh, really? You get, How much you get the collector's edition of freaking Ghostbusters. It come with the movie. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> and um, but um, anyway, though, uh, so the Xbox One hardware sells down, and you guys are expecting the Xbox One S to make up for that. Yeah, I mean, if I mean if that's the reason why they're down, yeah, it's definitely gonna make up for it. Now, if it doesn't, then that's not the reason. It's just people losing interest. Point blank. Period. Okay, uh, and what do you guys think? Uh, the first uh, X version of the Xbox One S launches uh, uh, Tuesday, I think, August second. I think that's a Tuesday or a Monday. I think it's a Tuesday. Um, and then the other versions launch. The day Madden comes out because they have a Madden bundle uh, coming out on August oh. 23rd, Xbox One S. Yeah, that um, August 23rd one, it, ha it's, it got Halo with it, I think, right? Yeah, and you need to get that. It, it's Halo and the Xbox for 299 Yeah. Is that is that Halo good. 5 or Master Chief Collection? Halo I'm thinking 5. Halo 5. That's right? 5. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a pretty good deal. deal. That's a I'm deal. not going to lie. That's a pretty good deal, man. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm I'm definitely intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. I've been Yo, the uh, moment Nick gets his Xbox, like, dude, we're gonna that PlayStation party. gonna be a dust bunny. Nah, our party's gonna be popping, nah. bro. Cause Nick, Nick will be like, man, I was I should have been got this console. I should have been <laughs> listening to everybody. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Look. 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 No. 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 Look, I'm gonna no, be no, severely, no, no. severely no. disappointed if Nicodemus no. does not make a video after getting his Xbox of him selling his PS4 for twenty bucks. I will be <laughs> severely disappointed. You gonna be disappointed? <laughs> nah, man. It's gonna I'm gonna be a tip only party, man. Nobody that's gonna be in it because it's gonna be. Oh man. I'm, I'm definitely greatest. excited to you know play some of those exclusive things like that and be in the parties with you guys, playing games with you guys. I'm definitely excited for that, but. There is no way in hell the Xbox is going to trump my PlayStation, for one thing. There is no way in hell you're going to hear me say things like, oh, I, I should have listened to you guys. I should have been got this. Nah. You, hold you, on, hold you, on, Nick. You Nick. Negroes, you Negroes going to be lucky if I don't be talking trash the whole time. Nick, you when are you getting your Xbox? Uh, it, it, it's going to be on the 23rd because, I mean, I got the money right now. Right, I'm just going to wait for the right, Greatness awaits. This Negro. Greatness awaits, man. Yeah, okay. Greatness has been here since November 2013, my dude. My dude. Well, I was going to say, dude. we're going to have to my cut dude. Nicodemus a break because we know November that 15. all he plays is single player indies. So, you know, we got to come a break on the uh, multiplayer. Yo, Nick going to be raging. I knew I shot my gun first. There's a, there's a <laughs> lag on this game. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen, I, I have seen this man play Uncharted 4 multiplayer. So yeah, I, I, I around. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. taking this Xbox back. It's broken. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dog, as long as the controller ain't got those dreaded dead zones I've been hearing about, I'm, oh, I should dead be good. zones, the excuses. Not long, the, the, I'm the just saying, as long as you don't have that, I should be good. The, the elite controller, good. the elite controller, and the new controllers won't have it. Okay. Yeah, the, okay, blue, the Bluetooth controller with your Xbox One S will have. Yeah, so. Yeah, um, shout out to my boy CLK in the chat. I would have you know I've been I've been experiencing greatness since um, November 15, 2015. So you know I've I've been experiencing greatness and nonstop greatness. Okay, yes, I play indie games. Yes, I am the king of indies. I love my single player games. I, I, yes. Okay, I, I, I love variety. Hard, I love variety. Therefore, I love PlayStation. Hey Nick, Nick, did you look at the game I I uh, linked you in the chat? Oh, not yet, my brother. That's gonna be right yeah. up your alley, bro. It's supposed to come out soon on the uh, Xbox. I don't know if it's on. I don't know if it's on PC or PS4, but it's supposed to drop on Xbox during this summer spotlight. You know, they be what, what game? It's called uh, uh, what's the name of it? Dang it, Live Lock. Me, I'm I'm about to check it out now. Live Blob. Live Lock. Live Lock. Uh, man, it's a cold yeah, top down shooter. Real games. Um, he he not like no top dash here. He couldn't handle cramp cramps in cramp, crimson land. Ooh, cramps. Not nah, fam. I, I thought crimson land was okay, but um, you know, top down shoes like alienation are more you know my type of thing. And so saying, this live, like I think you I think you would enjoy that man when you get your Xbox. That game you were playing on Sunday, my friend was playing it, and man, some of those mechanics are just yeah. whack, dude. Yeah, I was playing um Ninja Pizza Girl. This Sunday, don't judge me. Don't yeah, judge me. I like I, I like that. different types of games. Um, hey, no but, judge, bro. No judge, bro. Yeah, thank you. Nine ninety nine on that. Xbox and PlayStation doesn't look half bad. I played it on my buddy's PS4. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's kind of fun. Like on low key, it's kind of fun. So, but yeah, the mechanics. Oh. They were killing that, me. And it, that, that ramp you spent like 10 minutes oh, on, that was yeah, killing dog, me. And it's got the nerve to have a time limit. You got two <laughs> minutes to deliver a pizza, and you're fighting ninjas and ducking stuff, and you can't like grab onto ledges at times. And It was just screwing me up, man. I, I was legit getting frustrated, though. But I'm, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try it again. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, all right, so... Uh, we got any um anybody else want to speak on this uh um of the Xbox Xbox One S Xbox something? Ah, enough Xbox talk. Enough. Oh, uh, what about yes? What about the Street Fighter Five? I want to Nick uh, touched up on the rumor Street Fighter Five supposedly coming to the Xbox One. Uh, anybody see that on? Yeah, that's fake. That's fake, though. Like that. That's fake. I know. That's yeah, fake. that image is do out. If you actually zoom in on that image, that image is doctored as hell. It's fake yeah. as all get out. And, and though it was really good for a couple of days, though. That was a really fun image for a couple of days. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it was. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's, it's, the, uh, the Xbox game for gold list is gonna be dope. It's dope. It's gonna be a good month. 
Oh, yeah, uh, for all these, what's the, what's the games we're going again? I know uh, 2K, the WWE 2K16 was one of them. And Beyond Warriors Good and Evil, of HD. Roche, no. Yeah, Warriors of Watcher 3, Beyond Good and Evil, HD, and Splunky. And with uh, WWE uh, 2K16. Speaking of that of WWE 2K16, I'm, uh, did any of you guys check out my top five? Greatest wrestling games of all time. I did. did. I what, what is your opinion on it? Can I get some? Can I get some feedback? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kiss Move. I have a confession to make. Um, I did check it out. I swear I did, but it was like a week or so ago, and I don't remember. I don't remember, but I did check it out. I promise. I really it's did. It's five, time. dude. Five. It's not hard yeah. to remember. I can tell you the five right now. Because you wrote it. Because I wrote it. Because these were the greatest wrestling games ever touch any console. Yeah, I know it didn't stick with me either because um I never wrestling. really I don't watch wrestling now. I used to, but um I didn't really play wrestling games like that back in the day. Oh my god! But I did check out your article, sir, because I support people. Because you support people. I like do. I like I supported your Sonic article and remembered. Oh, it's okay. Well, that was that was the other My day. My articles though. didn't stand out good enough for you. But to that remember. was the, that was the other day, sir. It was the other day. Yours okay. was two weeks ago. Well, you haven't written an article in two weeks. No, it was July twenty first. <laughs> That's not two weeks. About four days ago. About four or five days ago. <laughs> um, oh, well, what's going on? Uh, but do any of you guys play wrestling or watch wrestling or play wrestling games in the past? No, if not, I'll in the watch. past, in the past, and I like your list. But the thing is. WrestleMania 2000 should have been number one. No, still, it shouldn't because watch. No Mercy was an improved version of WrestleMania 2000. It was more polished, more color, and it had more features, and you can mod it. WrestleMania 2000, oh. my favorite wrestling game. And WrestleMania 2000, WCW and NWO Revenge was dope, but WrestleMania 2000, and this is another one that you missed, and I can't think of the name of it. Ah! I got I to gotta find it. It's one you missed. I think it should be in your top five, but I can't think of the name of it. What, the Nitro game, Monday Night? What? No, let me see. I'm going to find it. Like, the rest of the, the top five I had, number five was um, was SmackDown 2. Number four was um, w, uh, WCW NWO Revenge. Number three was SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. Number two was WrestleMania 2000. Here comes the and pain with revolutionary the way it looked. It was. Around. I was like, and, whoa. And number one was WWF No Mercy. Now, reason why Here Comes the Pain was number three on my list, like I said, if it wasn't for nostalgia, it would be number one. Um, it's just <sighs> No Mercy. There's not a better wrestling game in No Mercy than No Mercy. It, it was just perfectly done. The only the, No Mercy was so good. The only issue No Mercy had was. That their intros weren't long enough. They didn't have like the full Titan thing of them going to the ring. But that was the only issue with um, No Mercy. Besides the first cop, uh, first batch of co- uh, copies that were sold, where they were corrupted because of the save files. But other than that, of a game, uh, No Mercy was just freaking terrific. WrestleMania 2000 was uh, terrific, but No Mercy was just so much a better game. I remember the only thing I kept going back to WrestleMania 2002 because I used to wrestle in real life and I used to like coming out to Shawn Michaels theme music, so I would put WrestleMania 2000 in and play Shawn Michaels theme and I like I could do the dance. Doom, 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 doom. Yo, you know what was dope? Oh, what, what, what? Yeah. Whenever they started letting us do the, the custom <laughs> intros and stuff, dude, I put the DX intro on all my characters because the DX had the best intro of all time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, wasn't yeah, nobody yeah. messing with DH. That's yeah. the greatest intro of all time, bro. Yeah, they yeah they did have uh, uh, the best. Um, my taunts used to be the middle finger from Austin when you created your player, and then the X Pac suck it because rap is suck it. He'd be like ta 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 ta. Oh, yeah. Um, so I like I said like I I don't think anybody can disagree with the top five lists. Um, and no WWF attitude was not on that top five list because that game was trash. It was trash. Yes, it was. It came out during the Attitude Era, but so did all the other games that I, that I listed that came out in the better part of the Attitude Era. Um, SmackDown, shut your smack, shut your mouth, sh- shut your mouth. What? What? Damn! When did that come out? Like O two, O three. SmackDown, shut your mouth. Who was on the cover of that one? I think it was The Rock. Uh, um, he was a rock hat wrestler. No, no, it wasn't shut your mouth. Smack that. He's probably doing it was no your role. Just bring it. 
SmackDown Just Bring It came out in 2002, and th- that one was a bare but It didn't even have the modes freaking SmackDown 2 had. It was just the new one for the PS2 at the time. So it was cool. It was one of my favorite games, but it wasn't – damn sure wasn't good um, um, as far as all the content that was in SmackDown um, – Know your role. I don't think sh- SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. Who was? Oh, I do remember Shut Your Mouth. This actually should have been on the list. This should have been on the list. I remember this game. Never mind. I forgot. That came out before Here Comes uh, the Pain. It came out before Here Comes the Pain. I remember. It was good. It was good. But Here Comes the Pain, like I said, had some. Um, I had Skip Scoop for Here Comes the Pain. Shut Your Mouth was good. It was. Yeah. I forgot shut your mouth. I can't believe I almost forgot about that game. So whoever said that in a, a chat, uh, thank you for mentioning a Blood Dragon. Shut your mouth was a good game, but I guess no, you can, no. Because the thing is, I think uh, Here Comes the Pain was the first game you get to play with Ray Mysterio and whatnot. I don't think he was in Shut Your Mouth. Um, but uh, we can we can get on. All right. So over the weekend, I gave you guys homework. Um. I don't know if any of you guys are paying attention. So um, it's our job for this moment to be sales men. Um, so the homework was, Nicodemus, can you explain the homework since I stutter a lot? You stutter a lot? You talk better than me. Um, so <laughs> each of us... Uh, listen up. Listen up. I'm out. Listen Dude. up. Listen up. Wait, Fame, Fame, five, say something. Oh, go ahead. Now I'm, just got- I am, I'm like nine minutes over and I actually got to bounce. It's been a great show. Uh, I hate I can't say for the rest of the show. I actually got to be up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So I got to peace out. Make sure you guys subscribe to the entire panel. Everyone that's on here, check us out on TGN.com. In our Gears of War, uh, Gears of War 4 giveaway. I think I said that right. Make sure you guys like every video Kiss Move does, every video Nick does. Uh, then everything they do, subscribe to everybody. And I'm out. Peace. Bye, 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 bye. Night, night. Peace out. Night, night. That was so quick. Jeez. Yeah, it was, it was a quick outro. I, 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 I. He sounded like one of them salesmen at uh. Yeah, he he sounded like he, he had to rush to the he, toilet. He's pretty good at that. He is. He, I was gonna say, you know, Fame already had his pajamas on, his milk made, his yeah. teddy bear ready, and he was just he just ran Don't straight forget about the chocolate chip cookies. The chocolate chip cookies. Yup, and the warm milk. Those. All right, so, so Nicodemus, let's get back to one. important important things before we so rudely interrupted by Fame. Mm-hmm. Um. So each of us has to select a company. We got to select either Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft. And we have to sell the console that we choose um, with just three games. And the games have to be games that are out right now or coming definitely for sure in 2016. So we got to be the salesman right now. And we got to state which games are going to sell this console and why. Okay? So. All right. Who's and first? I'm not going first. I'm not going first. Uh, I choose uh, 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 Demi. Oh, what the hell, man? Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Uh, Demi got reviews here. If you haven't tried this console out yet, go get yourself a PlayStation 4. It has a lot of good things about it, a lot of redeeming qualities. If you're a man that likes many multiple games and story-based driven games, games that'll hit you with the emotion, games that'll make you feel like you're the character within it, I say go get yourself a PlayStation 4. You have it's games just this year, right? Yeah, three. Three games. You only choose three. Three, three exclusive. Only three? Yep. Right, yeah, only fine. three. You gotta choose three. Alright. If you feel like you wanna beat some people up, go get you Street Fighter Five. It's a classic. Everybody loves Street Fighter. If you didn't grow up playing Street Fighter, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. You feel like you wanna level some characters up, boost some things up. Go get you Star Ocean 5, one of the greatest RPGs to touch down in this decade, man. Go, go do yourself a favor. If you're not playing it, then it's an injustice to yourself. And uh, let me see. Let me see. If you want something original, something different, something that'll draw you in, go get you that game, Stories. Something that'll bring you to life in each story and each different character in each kind of way. So and you're going to sell a PlayStation 4 with Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5. Star Ocean Five, right? Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's it. Okay. Oh, I, I mean, okay. I, I mean, don't. I, I, did you know what? The way he pitched it, I'm not even into those games, and I was like, all right, where's my wallet? <laughs> yeah, he did, he did pitch it. 
He did pretty, pretty good. I, I don't agree with those game selections, <laughs> but I, I personally would not buy a PS4 if those were the only three games on it. I'm sorry. Um, but <laughs> I mean, Nick, I know you're going to do Uncharted, so I'll left it up to you. Oh, isn't that nice? I mean, I, I'm going to do Uncharted regardless, but I appreciate that. So, I mean, that's, that's, so let's, let's I mean, that's it. personally my choice, bro, so... No, nah, damn. Nah, I mean, nah, what, if, what, if, what if your that's store is cool. in the middle of like Dallas, Texas? Who is you selling that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll be in the middle of Texas. Like, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> All right, bras. What stories can do for people, man? Undead. Stories is a good game, but Undead, yeah. tell us a console, man. <laughs> you there? You there? Did you do the homework, Undead? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Good. I'm phasing out. Uh, um, so Xbox One, best place to play multiplayer games, most reliable party chat system, achievement wow. system that is rewarding. Um, <laughs> need I continue? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to kill Nicodemus at this point. He's just gonna like start you. twitching on the ground in a minute. I, so. I hear it. I hear it. Go <laughs> All ahead. right. So, Recore. Boom. Original, good title. All right, so we'll wait and see. Gears of War 4. I, you know what? I ragged on Gears of War for. I've owned an Xbox console since the 360 came out, and I told myself I would never like a Gears of War game. Sat down with my friend and played co-op on it. Beat the whole Ultimate Edition, and that was a life-changing experience. So Gears of War 4, definitely a must-buy, and. Last game. Last game, my brother. Last game. <sighs> I wish we had a Halo game on Xbox One that wasn't Halo 5. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to say We Happy Few. I, I, I know it's an oddball choice, but I'm really into that game. I've been hyped for that game since they announced it. I've been watching people play it. And just the whole preview program on Xbox and the ID indie games on Xbox are such a huge pull for me because I like the variety of games. I, I, I've I been, over the past, I'm going to say six months to a year, I used to be a stereotypical Xbox dude bro, but the Xbox One has really helped me step away from that. I played a lot of shooters. Like I, 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 I have over 50 days registered on Black Ops 2, okay? I'm going to be real here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> Xbox has given me a lot of variety there's indie games there's shooters there's some decent RPGs they may not get the shine they deserve but there's tons of things on the Xbox One and there's tons of things for you to play on the Xbox One MOBAs, anything, we got it alright that, that was a good pitch you sound like a politician <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> All right, Nicodemus, who's going next? You know what I mean? You want to do rock paper yeah. scissors shoot, or you want to go now? I'll go. I'll go. Uh, because yeah, he went. He went to Xbox. I know you're going to Xbox, so yep. we, we'll we'll split it up like we're doing. Um, so, so yeah, PlayStation. So obviously, I'm going with the PlayStation Four. So. Um, PlayStation 4 is um, definitely the best console, is the gamer's console right now. Um, where you're having droughts in other consoles, there is no drought on PS4. There never has been. There never will be because we talk about variety. Nick mentioned variety. PlayStation has variety. You're going to have all types of games. You're going to have every type of game that you want over on PlayStation side. Remember right now, great. PlayStation... Right now, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm 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 only gonna name three. It's gonna be hard because a lot of you guys seem like y'all are a little too easy naming those three games. It's gonna be hard for me to pick three. Okay, but um, you got fighters. Nothing like you got so many different fighters. If you like fighting games, there's a plethora of fighters over on the PlayStation side. You got JRPGs, RPGs. You got action adventure games, indies. Out the asking too many questions. You got so many different games on, <laughs> on the PlayStation that every gamer will love this system. So it's hard to pick a top three, honestly. But here goes nothing. So we're going to start off we're going to start off with the obvious choice. The obvious choice. The freaking game of the year 2016 Uncharted 4. The, the best story game driven game that has been released all year long. Arguably this whole generation. Um, 
excellent multiplayer. It, some people call it bare bones, but it is fun. It is one of the best multiplayers out right now, in my humble yet often correct opinion. Um, if you're an Uncharted fan, you're going to definitely love how this thing ends. If you're not an Uncharted fan, you're going to love it anyway. It's going to make you want to go play the other Uncharted games. So Uncharted 4 is that game. It's a must-buy on PlayStation, and you can only get it on PlayStation. It is a true 100% exclusive. You can't play it on PC. You can't play it on Nintendo. You can't play on Microsoft console. Nothing. <laughs> only, only, only on PlayStation. Okay. The oh. next, next choice. This is hard, dog. I had like five. I had five. But I had to, I had to get it down to something that would sell this thing. Um, I had like five or six that could sell it. But the next one I'm going to choose is No Man's Sky. Yes, No Man's Sky. <laughs> Here's why. Listen, listen, listen to me. <laughs> listen, just hear me out. Hear me out. No Man's Sky, because, because, because this game has so much mystery behind it and so much hype behind it right now, and we're learning so much about the game that I think this is something that's going to appeal to a lot of people. I was skeptical about it at first, not going to lie, but I'm really interested in it right now, um, and I'm just crossing my fingers to actually hit the release date target. Um, but No Man's Sky, I think it's, it's an open universe. I think it's something that people want. Like a lot of gamers, they say they want like new, and they want something different. They want something a game that's not telling them what to do. Well, this game is going to give that to you. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely think No Man's Sky is a system seller. And then last but not least, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? The last yeah. Guardian. The I last Guardian. It. You knew it. You already know. The I last Guardian. The reason why I say this is because this is a game that many PlayStation 3 owners have been waiting for. And I think a lot of the people on PlayStation 3 that were waiting to jump to PS4, this is going to be the game that's going to make them make that jump to PS4. Um, this game is something that's been highly anticipated. Um, and when they actually showed the release of the game, a lot of people were skeptical about it. But this is a game that's true to form for those developers that made Shadow of the Colossus. People that love those games, they're going to love this game. They're taking it to the next level as far as AI goes. Um, so it's definitely going to have an intriguing, awesome story, a lot of great puzzles, um, just the type of things that, um, you know, that this developer is known for making. So, yeah, those are my three definitely tough choices. After Kiss Moo goes, please allow me to tell you my honorable mentions, ladies and gentlemen, because I have a bunch. But I will let Kiss Moo go. PlayStation. I, 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 can I just point out that I'm actually legitimately surprised PlayStation. that you uh, picked uh, No Man's Sky. I'm 100% surprised. I had just look, because was, there's just because there's so much that could possibly go indie. wrong. No, no, <laughs> no. But but there's so much that could go wrong with there that is. game. That's why I'm so there hesitant. Is. It looks amazing. They're so ambitious with it, but yes. there's so much that could possibly go wrong. There's I'm so, much so that could go nervous. Wrong, for but it. I think yes, but I think that's what the industry needs. I think they need something like new, innovative, something that it's you know, not new and it's not innovative. It is, man, dude. I'm telling you, the the stuff they're putting in this game is is gonna be like something you've never seen. I'm telling it's you, it's like Elite Dangerous, just a little huge. bit more. Uh, it's going to be huge. I'm telling you guys. Um, I, I'll play it when it's on Xbox. It's not coming to Xbox ever. It's coming to it, PC though, I believe. Yeah, it, and that's it, that's considered Xbox too for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My goodness. That comes to Jerry's Xbox too. So. <laughs> All right, so you guys, um, I'm about ready. Okay. So. What's up? Uh, what's your name? Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Okay. Oh my. You're gonna love this console. Get out. This is the <laughs> Xbox One. Okay. So the Xbox One got it extremely cheap now. You can get it. You can get the $250 uh, model. You got a couple other models. How many gigs you need? You need 500 gigs, one terabyte, two terabyte. We got that for you. All right. But once you get the console, you're gonna need something to play. You're going to need something to play. And I got the best games for you. You know why? Because your mom said these are the three games you're getting and this is probably going to be the three games you have for the remainder of the year or until Christmas so I want to help you out to utilize the best the best games for the best, for the best time. Alright? So let's start with one game you're really going to want and you're really going to enjoy. You're going to want Sunset Overdrive. Let me tell you about Sunset Overdrive. This game is an open world, fun, out of control 
shooter, combat game, whatever you want to call it. It's fun. Create your own character, whether you want to be a male, female, fight monsters that aren't zombies because zombies are played out. Um, customize your character. It has online multiplayer. It has a ton of ton of content. You want a game that's going to utilize a lot of your time because you only got three games to work with. So Sunset Overdrive is definitely one of those games that you will value. The story's quirky, funny, and entertaining is all hell. So definitely pick up Sunset Overdrive. It's pretty cheap now. You can get it for uh, $29.99. So Sunset Overdrive should definitely be one of the games you pick up. Now, sometimes you don't want to mix it up. You are going to want to mix it up because Sunset Overdrive, after you know you, you get in uh, for a couple hours of it, you want to take a break, you want to play something else, well, guess what? There we have Forza Horizon 3, the best racer since Forza Horizon 2, which was the best racer in the last 10 years. So Forza Horizon is an open world racer. Drive whatever you want, whenever you want, multiplayer, even if you don't want to play with a bunch of people, play by yourself. This game does not punish you. It's not one of those boring racers like Gran Turismo or freaking uh, Project Gotham or the original Forza Motorsport series or Trash like Need for Speed. This is fun. It's everything you want. Play how you want. If you want to be pro, play it pro. If you want to play it casually, play it casually. This game has a ton of content. So much content that you don't need any other game after you uh, you have this in Sunset Overdrive. This will cover have you covered. But I know it is a racer. You can't get out the car. You can't shoot people up. You, it, it is, at the end of the day, it is a racer. So you are going to want to mix it up again. But you have your open world uh, game covered. Now you have your racing covered. Now you have to – it's the Xbox. It's the Xbox. And what plays great on this baby? Halo 5 Guardians. Of now, course. Best <laughs> – Multiplayer, the best multiplayer in the shooter. Best multiplayer in the shooter. It's a great cinematic campaign you will enjoy. If you got friends, you got four player co op. You can't beat that. And you guys can get it done in a day, you know, because four players online, you don't want to be playing for three days straight. It, you got six, seven hours to beat it, perfect game. Also, you got the Warzone mode, which is just. You can burn eight hours just playing that. The multiplayer is as great as it's ever been. This is definitely the best shooter. I know you've probably got a bunch of friends that play Call of Duty, but Call of Duty will piss you off and rip you off. So Halo 5 Guardians, DLC free. Everything that's additional in this game is free. You want Halo 5 Guardians. It's the best shooter. You can't go wrong with Sunset Overdrive, Forza Horizon 3, and Halo 5 Guardians. Now, you may... Um, there's other things that this console offers so uh, that you can get uh, uh, for cheap. You have games with gold, which gives you some uh, – you get a free game every month with Xbox uh, with Xbox Live. You know what I mean? So, And then you have the game preview program, which a lot of – Excuse me. Excuse me. Games. I, Wait a minute. I am selling right now. <laughs> you, you can play unfinished games <laughs> during development. That's an uh, option for you. And then because – you got sports games like Madden and stuff like that. EA Access is an exclusive app to the Xbox where you can try games from EA be a week before they come out and you get 10% off each game they release with this program. Also, they have bought games. So games like last year's games and stuff go in there for free and it's constantly updated. This is why you should have an Xbox One to maximize your gaming experiences. And these are the three games that you want. Halo 5 Guardians, Sunset Overdrive, and Forza Horizon 3. Okay. Pause. Pause. Um, did you just describe Sunset Overdrive as quirky? That's you used the word quirky. Did you really use the word quirky? quirky? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quirky, quirky in a good way. Okay. Okay. That's the that's the first thing. Second thing is Negro. We were only supposed to talk about games, not like other incentives. Games only. That's what you were supposed to use to sell the console. <laughs> You cheated. Now, how are you going to say cheated. Forza Horizon 2 is the best racing in the last 10 years? Dog? It was. Come on. In <laughs> 2006, what came out that was better? Let's see. You have Burnout Revenge, Burnout Takedown. Can't beat that. You can't beat the classics. I, I was kind of worried that Demi was going to say Gran Turismo, and I was going to shake my head, but he's, he's got a point with Burnout. He's Burnout Revenge, it. I don't think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's better. I think it's good. It's good. It's very, very good. It's, it's up there, but it's not better. Hold on. Even though I got respect for Gran Turismo, I wouldn't even say that. But you, you can't deny 
the greatness that is Burnout, bro. Somebody said Battlefield 4 is the best multiplayer game. That is a lie. The game spent eight months oh, broken before it no. worked. Come on. Yeah. Oh, the game I'm was broken for a half client, a year. Hey, hey, no, no. I'm a client. You to give credit to the Battlefield fans. They're the most patient people in the world. They'll buy the game and be like, man, this multiplayer is going to be great six months from now. One day. One day it's going to be playable. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> One day. One day it'll be playable. <laughs> One day. Yep. Like, so, so, um... If I was from these sales pitches, I would buy a PlayStation from Nicodemus. I'm sorry, Jimmy, I would not buy a PlayStation from you. Actually, your list would probably drive me to suicide. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh hold on. man, I, mean, I didn't, I didn't listen to you great in senses, but the fact is, is that you just don't like fighters, bro. Actually, no, I have to give Demi credit. He avoided all the like really like. Easy ones like he could have just gone Uncharted. Um, yeah, he did say Uncharted for me because I was. I, well, no, I'm trying to think Uncharted. I'm trying to think the Triple A blockbusters here. We could have gone. Uh, I don't even know, man. I don't even pay attention. Pay attention. I could have gone. I could have so. gone Uncharted, Last Guardian, Gran Turismo Sport. I could have gone. Yeah, easy, yeah. Though. GT Sport was on my list. He could have went with Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I was thought he was gonna say Ratchet and Clank. I would have been like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, it was on. It was well, on. It was I was gonna one. say no, no it Crash Bandicoot remaster there, Nicodemus. No uh, Crash Bandicoot remaster exist. next year. <laughs> next year, so it had to be this year. So I, you know, I followed. I followed the rules of this little game, but yeah, I mean, you know, honorable mentions, real quick. I could have said the King of Fighters as well, but I, I chose not to stick with just straight fighters. King of Fighters. Oh yeah, yeah, yo Demi, I got something for you. I got something for you, my dude. Um, King of Fighters. I looked up gaming history. Um, it is twenty. King of Fighters ninety five is twenty one years old today, my dude. The yes, one that is. came out in the arcade. Twenty one years old, man. So um, that is for you, cause I know you like your King of hey, Fighters. Hey, King of Fighters is now twenty one. I'm gonna get it a drink at the club and I'll see where we go. <laughs> I want to hear honorable men mentions, Nico. Okay, so um, we got Alienation. Top-down shooter. It actually looks like this game, Live Lock. Yes, it's a top-down shooter. It's amazing. It's made by House Mark, who makes nothing but great, great, great games. Um, it looks just like this game, Live Lock, that um, that Fame was trying to show me. Which it looks cool, but it looks like Alienation, basically. Um, Fury, Fury, the game I've been hyping up. Really great game. Um, Kill Strain, Kill Strain is another game made by San Diego Studio, multiplayer game. Um, Headlander. Headlander just came out today. I don't know if you guys seen this game or heard of it, but it's a sci-fi, side-scrolling shooter game where basically your head pops off robotic bodies, and you have to... <laughs> and you oh, gotta that constantly... Game. Yeah, that, dog, that game is so much fun. I got it today. I played it this morning, dog. It is so much fun. It's made by Double Fine. Um, you pop your head off um, different robotic bodies to make it through the levels, and you have different power-ups based on the body that you are on. You are like the last human head in existence. Um, and I chose to be a black old guy. But that's a great game. Um, Abuzu, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but Abuzu is the underwater um, game. It's kind of like Journey, Limbo, like some of those types of games, but it's underwater. Um, that's going to be a great game. And then um, Brutal. Got to have shout out to Brutal. They're coming out. Um, Stormcloud Games. We had them on here for an interview. That game is finally coming out uh, August. So those are my those are my honorable mentions. And then of course Ratchet and Clank in GT Sport. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of yeah. Good thing you kept those in your honorable mentions because I'd be like, yeah, I ain't buying a PlayStation anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, a lot of lot of lot of great indie games there, but. You already know I'm the king. I was gonna, I was gonna say it, it, it just I Crunch. when Nicodemus starts talking indie games, he turns into like a little six year old at Christmas. You see him it's light up so and get wonderful. all giddy. So wonderful, so I mean, right. as the prince of indies, he has to, he has to, you know. Get oh, the so prince, but the we, prince. We got, a, we got a we got a few minutes. When I say a few, minutes, not two minutes. We got a good maybe uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, can we? Uh, are, are, are we? Can we open this up to the people watching? Uh, can we get some? Questions for uh, us, the writers block, Team Nico, Team Undead, Team Demi, Mr. I Am Not Bias, and the best part, 
Any questions? <laughs> Can't be the best ball with that gamer score, cuz. Come on. Hey, oh, oh had nothing to do with the gamer score. I'm sorry. I, 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 compared to a lot of my friends on Xbox Live, which I have, what, up 1,100 followers, I'm, my score is pretty impressive. I, impressive. I have 1,100 followers. Look at me. Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> it feels good to be the, the man on Xbox Live. I mean, wow. <laughs> no, no, seriously, no, Nicodemus, I am 100% serious. When you get Xbox, uh-huh. follow Jerry, go into his showcase, and his oh, Xbox best. showcase <laughs> has to be the best thing I have ever that watched in my life. I, right I, there, I died laughing going on? Like the first... <laughs> oh. oh. I'm not, I'm not sure if Jerry has like a video copy of it he can send you, but it, it, it it's great. You can it? check it on Xbox.com and go to my profile. It should be there, my showcase. Let me check to see if it's um. But he has to log in probably. Does he? Yeah, probably so. Xbox.com or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, my video showcase. I, I, I was like, yes, people. I, I no wonder I be getting likes like every day. That was like, uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh link it. Xbox.com. Let's see if I can. Oh shit! Sorry. What's good? Um, anybody got any questions? In yeah, somebody chat? asked a question. Anything I think at uh, all. Think what do you guys want to know? Like, when will we stop playing video games? Because somebody clarify that if I, because I'm not looking at the screen yet. Well, Summer Drake, he said, when are you gonna stop playing video games? I don't know if he's asking somebody in the chat that or us. Um, I'll answer if you're asking us. Um, never. I mean, I'm, never. I'm never gonna stop playing yeah. games. I mean, I'm honestly, gaming right now. Yeah, I'm never gonna stop playing games. I mean, gaming for me is like listening to music or watching movies. It's entertainment. So, you know, it's I'm never gonna be old, too old to play video games, in my opinion, unless I, I mean, get like arthritis or something. For me, I was gonna like, say. I, 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 I'm gonna be like 82 years old. I'll be like, yeah, the way I'm buying Call of Duty 56. Get out of my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think right. I'll stop gaming when my uh, when I can no longer uh, use my hands by myself. Like, yeah, like, that's yeah, that's the only way I can see. Or if I'm like blind or something, but I don't know. I ain't gonna stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. I mean, gaming for me is like women, dog. You just you just gotta keep on going, bro. Just keep on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, By yeah. no means, in no ways, did I does does that reflect on any of the team? This is just me speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Uh, I, yeah, you're gonna have to check it out on. Um, unless it's on XboxDVR.com, you might have to. You might need the console to check out my showcase. Yeah, you need the console. <laughs> yeah, let me see if it's on Xbox DVR. This man. Um, let's see. So post like Hakeem, shout out to Hakeem. Um, he asks, "Is the Scorpio the next Xbox in the skies?" Ooh. No. Ooh. Is it the next Xbox in the sky? Why you say no? I say no because it's um they're telling you that it's a part of the Xbox One family. So it's for it to be the next Xbox in the skies, that means like, hey, they're gonna get be Scorpio exclusive games. The only Scorpio exclusive games that there will be on a Scorpio are the games that are VR, like VR games that you can run on the Scorpio. That would be that would be it. And I, but it's obviously you can't play VR games on a current Xbox One. Um, but no, it's a, it's a more powerful Xbox One. Um, and I mean, the only thing that's gonna be probably exclusive is some of the features. That the Scorpio can do for some of these games, but I'm not. Even though the the specs tell you it's probably a new console, um, I'm I look at it as a, a upgraded, a, a real upgraded version of the current Xbox we have today. Will there ever be a new Xbox? Probably not. It depends on what happens with tech uh, technology. I think Scorpio is good for maybe four, uh, three, four years. Um. So if this thing like succeeds or whatever, and Sony's next adventure succeeds and stuff, you, you guys think that this is going to be a new trend? Like we're not going to ever see a true new iteration of a console, or is well, you don't. New... You wouldn't want that. What do you and, mean? Yeah, I don't want I don't want cloud-based gaming to like just be portable to my TV only. 
I want some true console power in the living room. I don't want it to just stalemate itself to where we don't get consoles anymore. Yeah, I, I want consoles. I don't want that either. But I don't, yeah, I I don't want like a, new, a brand new console every day. I want it because the thing is, when the Xbox, one thing I was disappointed at with the Xbox and PlayStation was the fact that when I turned on my Xbox One, that none of my Xbox 360 games would run naturally on it. Like, mm. even though, like, you know what I mean? And that's what I want. Like, for example, your phones. Do it every time you upgrade your iPhone. You know, there's like, you know what I mean. Besides the physical capabilities and stuff, everything else is perfectly fine. Um, and consoles should be able to do that. Like, I should be able to upgrade and not have to invest in another set of collection of games. You know what I mean? So it's um like I said, I prefer consoles. I don't want consoles to go away. If consoles, when consoles go away, I probably will stop. My gaming habits will calm down a whole lot. It's it will. Oh. Yeah, no, consoles are here to stay. They are the future. Um, I, yeah, I don't want that cloud-based crap and definitely not handheld and, you know, virtual reality. I'm not going to judge it too harshly, but right now I'm not, like, super interested in that either. Mm -hmm. So, nah, not nah, fan. Let me sit on the couch with my forever, controller. Man. And I don't NX want forever. NX forever, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear next, no. <laughs> you can't make me. You can't, I don't want it. I just don't want it. You can't make me buy it. No, I refuse. No. <laughs> Gordon Reaper asked me, um, why didn't you like Banner Saga Smooth? Um, when did I say I didn't like it? I know I said Black, that uh, I, was about to, I was about to let you have it if you say you didn't like it, bro. I, I, uh, but he's right. I don't like it. Smooth. I, I don't. What? I, don't. I turned it on. And I was just like, yeah, this is not interest me. I thought it would be like a complete. If it was a straight up like hack and slash, I that would not fit it. the tone of the game, bro. It would yeah, so not and, fit the tone and, of the and, game. And the tone of the game doesn't fit me, so I uninstalled that bitch. It's turn based. It's, yeah, it's, sir. It's, 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 it's turn based and uh, strategy, it's strategy turn based RPG. It's time. challenging, and I love it. Yes. Yeah. And I don't. Yeah, old Bioware devs did a fantastic job with that game. Like it's, some games aren't really for me, and you no know, thing is, I don't mind turn-based games. There's uh, plenty of turn-based games that I enjoy, like Blue Dragon, Paper Mario. Um, uh, what other game was there? Uh, what I think I'm about a, a Custom Quest. Um, I've been wanting to try, uh, which I just downloaded uh, Custom Quest too. It's uh, some. It's like I said, it's some games that do it for me. Um, some games don't, and I just wasn't really a, a fan of that. Sometimes I, it depends on the day, I, what I feel like doing. And some people are more tolerant to certain games than I am. Like I said, people forget I play video games for the entertainment, uh, for entertainment value. I have to be entertained while I'm playing. And it's great that you get rewarded with like achievements and stuff. That's awesome. I am slightly competitive. I like playing the games that I am better than most people at includes NBA Live, Halo, Gears. Um, wow. um I, I, Man, I do like it. NBA Live. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Um do you, so you don't like challenges, you just like to be entertained? No, I'm not gonna say I don't like challenges. Um I don't I don't run away from challenges. It depends on the type of game. If it's a game I like, a type of game or genre and it just happened to be challenging I can I, I can deal with that, but if it's a unfil a, a different uh, genre or type of game and it's challenging at the same time, I don't like the style of the game to begin with. I'm probably not going to um, enjoy. It. There's there's um different style of games I haven't played that I enjoyed, but most games I can't uh, I don't get into um, if it if it has to entertain me within that 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 first initial 20 to 30 minute period, I have to be engaged. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, somebody has Vegeta thirty-seven, thirty-nine. Where that King Droopy response does that get smooth? I, uh, I, um, if it, like I said, depends on how many uh views it gets. I might reply, but I feel like I did enough damage and um struggle bars too. Um, remember I did that on the R and B soft tone beat. So I'm struggle gonna... bars too. You dissing somebody on that track? Just everybody. Everybody who ever. Decided to say my name and me being whack, and everybody uh, who took any shot at me, I just everybody. Oh wow! That's gonna be like a twenty-minute song. I gotta check that out. No, no, no. They're just slide shots. They're they're not that bad. Like I said, it's a, it's, a, it's like a minute and like forty-seven seconds. Um, Demi. Demi. and it's Demi. just it's slide shots. 
Um, Demi said that. Um, Demi said that. Um, you think you hot smooth? I think I'm hot. This man think he Pac right now, man. He he trying to he trying to come at everybody neck, bro. Yeah. Coming for it, because people come at me for no reason. Google, if you search kids move in the search box, you'll find more content about me than you will find from me. And I have a lot of content. So that's a lot. This is true. The, the, that, this is true. If you what... type in kids move, it's like first seven videos are other people's videos about him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, uh, don't ask any of these stupid questions. All right. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, come on. You guys got questions before we like you know, before we hit the Y'all asking some stupid questions. Y'all y'all asking them bait questions. Don't get out of here with that. See, this crap. is why this is why Nick get the threats, man. <laughs> Dog, get out of here with this crap. Man. I don't care. I don't care what people think about me on YouTube. I'm not here for all that. Y'all get out of here with that crap. <laughs> Dislike me. Dis dislike questions. me. <laughs> dislike me. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, wait. All right, all right. So, um, we got a question. We got a we got a question from Post like Hakeem. I like that name. I I knew his name always been that, but I never read it. What's the panel's thoughts on this generation as a whole? Are you guys satisfied and impressed so far? I remember we had a discussion about this, and you guys shunned me for what I felt about it. But go ahead, take the floor. Um, this generation. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely um. I'm definitely satisfied with this generation. Um, I, it hasn't, like I said in my pitch about PlayStation 4, it hasn't skipped a beat for me. But that's because I like so many different types of games. So like when there's a drop with AAA games, you know, I have the you know indie games that a lot of people don't like. I fall back on those, you know, and I always find at least one or two that you know holds me over and truly like entertains me. Like this ain't a gimmick. So you know, I've been like thoroughly enjoying it. I mean, honestly, I, when people were saying there was a drought. Um, believe it or not, I was on Destiny for like six months straight. Like oh, I, I remember Destiny. that. I remember that. I was actually you you're, you're in your Destiny phase. Yeah, yeah. So I used to hype Destiny up big time. So it was never a drought for me. I mean, I've been busy, real busy out here in the streets. Like I got a backlog like crazy. So you know, it's definitely I'm impressed with the generation. I don't feel like it's been underpowered or anything like that. You know, like a lot of people we've stated this before. We a lot of people find out what a teraflop is this generation. A lot of people found out what um you know frames per second is all about in resolution. A lot of people found out about this stuff. Like when I got my PS4, like Killzone, I was legit impressed with those graphics. Like legit. Like I wasn't on the internet seeing what other people said about it. I popped in my PS4, put Killzone in. And me and my brother, I remember, we were checking out, and we were legit impressed with the graphics. And I've been satisfied ever since. So, you know, I've been good, fam. Uh, yeah, uh, what about you, Undead? Uh, I've, I've been really impressed with this generation. This generation actually made me play more variety in games. Like, I am ashamed of myself. I spent, I don't know, five six years probably on 360 and I only had like 30,000 gamer score because I basically I played my Call of Duty I played my Halo and I stuck to my like mainly multiplayer games but this generation has been great like I the escapists I've really been into um, I've, I've picked up playing Smite which is a MOBA I've branched out into like there's so many different games I've played and there's so many great games that I still have yet to play like Rise is in my backlog um uh, Sunset Overdrive I've been playing and it's a blast. There's so many different varieties of games and there's like I don't know how whenever anyone says there's a drought on either console I think it just means there's not games you're interested in which isn't a bad thing like some people aren't into certain t kinds of games like if you're not into banner saga i understand that it's not exactly a pick up and play and have a blast kind of game like i got very frustrated with that game for the first hour and a half i played it and i came back to it and i'm having fun with it now but it took an adjustment time but there's so many great games and with like ps plus giving away games and like the games with gold and everything else like yeah there's a couple trash games like i'm with Demi on Tron, I'm trying to get through it for the achievements, but it sucks. <laughs> I tried a demo. I tried a demo for that game. It, it was all right. It was, like I only played like three stages, and it was all right. I guess it gets worse or something. But, yeah, the, but the, bad. 
Wow. But, but the thing is, is that if you're an all-around, like, if you like RPGs, you like shooters, you just, like, have a variety of games to play, you're not going to have a drive this generation. Now, when this generation first started, I didn't upgrade for almost a year and a half because there was no point. Because the the first set of games they released didn't blow me away, so I didn't upgrade immediately. But now there's so many games. I'm trying to catch up on games that came out two years ago. So for me, I still got years ahead for me for yeah. games to play. So it's I'm generally satisfied, as I would say. Me, you guys know how I feel about it. I mean, it depends. It's uh, you did say something about their their type of games. I. I I've, I can't say I've been dissatisfied. I, I, there's other things that made me dissatisfied about this generation so far that me, probably weren't uh, gaming really. Maybe it was the politics. Maybe it was the uh, the media hype. Maybe it was the rise um, of the, the fanboys or the attack of the fanboys. Um, <laughs> who knows? Um, uh, but, Demi, did you want to go before I get to the next question and before we hit out? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take it on. Um, personally, I'm satisfied with this generation. I, I don't... I don't... I don't see what hate warrants. Maybe because people like relive the old past days and they wanted to be that again. I I don't I don't get it personally. I'm I'm satisfied, man. I'm gaming. I've been gaming like forever, man. And I just got games to play, and I'm satisfied, bro. Like, just put a controller in my hands. Make sure the game is good and not Tron related or just trash in general. I'm fine, man. Seriously, like I'm legit okay with what's been going on. I've been satisfied since like maybe. The the fall of 2014 and onward, I've been great. So it's about it for me. Um, so the, uh, Summer Drake um, asked the interesting question. He was like, um, he says, do you think graphics will like stop him improving? Like, um, and when he, I mean, I was asking about just this gen or in general, and he meant in um, general. So do you guys think that the graphics will we get better graphics? How good will graphics become? Well, man, if you look it up, they already got 8Ks in the works. So, man, it it sky's the limit at this point. It's going to get to the point where we ain't going to know we playing games. You're going to think it's real life. <laughs> I don't know how much graphics will improve, like graphic graphics. Because, I mean, there's some graphics. Like, when I saw, when I seen Rise in a Room and it tried for I'm like, ah, I don't think anything could get better than that. Uh, but I, I don't think graphics are going to like you know take off into the point where we're going to be looking at like real people. You know what I mean? I think mm -hmm. things will it'll get slightly better. But I think what's going to happen with gaming in the future with all the with all the stuff that they have ac access to, I can picture one day a Grand Theft Auto where you have access to go to anything you see, like every house you can walk in or try to break into, every every building is you can there is something there you can go into. Like yeah. more destruction, a uh, real rain effects, uh, more um, intelligent AI. Yeah, yeah. More, uh, extremely intelligent AI. Thank yes, um, that's, that's exactly what I was thinking about. And not only just intelligent AI, but just changing AI. Like for example, like every time you uh, in a game, like the enemies could be different every time you play. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, it's no copy and paste AI, just different like things going on. Like I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff that are maybe related to graphics that will improve. I think the graphics will get slightly better. We're going to see some bumps and uh, we're going to see some um, bumps. But right now, between like last generation and this generation, I don't think the graphics were that much better. I mean, of course, we see a difference in, in resolution and stuff. But like I said, the, the best looking games. So far that we have this gen that you're like, okay, this is a, a, a complete leap over what we've gotten on like the 360 and PS3 were, um, were Rise of the Rome, Uncharted for The Order, um, um, NBA 2K. Um, and, Infamous. Uh, Infamous has some pretty good photo realism. Uh, Infamous looks good. It, 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 okay, yeah, maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put until dawn in the graphics compartment too, bro. Oh yeah, until oh, dawn. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, that's true. That's true. I think arguably is the best looking game on the PlayStation 4. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. As far as um, graphics go. I don't think yeah. Detroit being human is gonna push that even further, man. Yeah. Possibly. Oh man, that yeah. game looks. Oh. Yeah. If it looks like what we've seen, if it looks like what we've seen, it it will be. Yep. 
Well, it should. But, it's um, not a Ubisoft game, so it should look that good. <laughs> you, you're, you're right. <laughs> every episode, every episode. Let us not forget. Let us, Let us not forget Ubisoft. Nope. Nope. Um, but yeah, we're about to um, head out. We want to thank all you guys uh, for tuning in with us for episode 26 of the Writer's Block Podcast. Uh, give us some likes. We're, we're sitting on 20, and we know we have more than 20 people watching, and we only got four dislikes, so some of you guys are still up in the air, so hit that like button. Um, also, uh, before you guys um, go, please uh, try to enter to win that Gears of War 4 we're giving out. That's in the link below. Subscribe to my man Nicodemus. He got this uh, cool video out, um, and he has some, uh, check out his articles on TickGN, as well as my articles. Demigod Reviews Every game, um, he reviews every game. I think that's the only reason why he's going for those damn achievements. I, don't think, I think it's le- more about the achievements and less about the reviews. But check out Demi God uh, reviews. <laughs> I, I'm doing a, I'm doing a throwback review on Tron. So, all right, all right, cool. And then Undead, are, have you been putting out content, man? I, I I've been recording content. I ain't uploaded anything, man. No, I've been trying to play games. I've You're been not. playing games with my one buddy. Shout out to my friend, I'm Pure King, eight two seven Bobby, who just got a hundred fully one hundred percent completed games on Xbox this weekend with Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Yep. So shout out to my man. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. And um, wow. Uh, all right. Also, just to update you guys, for those who be asking me, Kids Move, where's the gameplay? I know I go through these phases. Gameplay is coming. I just was waiting for that interesting game. Um, we happy for you. I'm gonna. I'm, I have some videos up. Also, reviews are gonna be coming again. Um, and then um, we're gonna. Uh, Nicky Demas, ch- take care of that uh, chat right quick for me. Um, Man, I, my com- my other computer died, bro. I can't even see it. All right, cool. Never mind. I'll, I'll take care of it. Um, my bad. And um, also, I'm going to be doing this uh, segment on – for the reviews that I don't put on YouTube, I'll be doing uh, like uh, about 90-second reviews on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. It's kids. 90-second reviews? 90-second reviews. So games like reviews, Madden, Madden will be my first game where I'm going to do a 90-second review on Instagram. Uh, so. Speaking of reviews, there I'm is. introducing the next – I'm introducing the next segment to my channel called Multi Reviews, games that I may have missed out on due to other games. Mm-hmm. You know, just quick and brief reviews. And uh, the first review would be Firewatch and The Witness. So be tuned in for that. Firewatch is going to get, do you do a five scale? It's going to get a two out of five. <laughs> two <laughs> out of five. Also, that's, that's check out. I'm sorry to do this, but uh, Nikki, I think I like to check. Go to GN, check out some of them, our, uh, our film reviews. Movies. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's, our, that's our favorite. Um, yeah, look, 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 look. Go to tickgn.com. Check out the movie reviews. I'm telling you, it, it is an experience. Just check, check them out. And see what we're talking about, and just comment if you agree or disagree on the movie reviews. Go check them out. <laughs> but um, I think uh, we are, we are done for today. Uh, it's late. It's time for us to play some video games and go to bed. All right. So, um, all right. All right. And you got, but you got your outros, or you guys said enough? I think you you did very well yeah. with the outros tonight, sir. You handled that very well. Fame would be proud. Fame would be proud. Well, guess yes. what? Nobody's gonna be proud of this. Xbox is the best bot, <laughs> and I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. Peace. <laughs>